I think back about you know, what motivated us to step out and take the risk and start Vestar. It really was about doing the business in a way that we thought was the right way to approach it. Being able to be true partners with management, help them build their businesses. We've always been very people-oriented and realized that it's the relationships that count most. Dan had the idea and, and he called me into his office one day when we were at First Boston and he said, I'm not sure this is a good idea, I'm not sure we'll do this or not, but what do you think if we leave and start our own firm? I could see that little gleam in his eye, that little entrepreneurial gleam. I was just giddy with excitement, but I'd never had a migraine headache before and haven't had one since. I think it's fair to say that we were there kind of at the beginning of the, you maybe call it the Big Bang, for, for the world of private equity. Back in the very early days of this industry, there were only a handful of firms doing the business, borrowing money to buy companies. When we left to form Vestar on our own, we really said we're in the business of backing management teams. We're encouraging them to be entrepreneurial, to take charge and take leadership of what they do with the businesses. For us to be effective, to be uh, credible, we really should be doing that ourselves. The firm was leveraged, we were leveraged, and the deals were leveraged. It's that sort of underlying risk that we took and the success that we've subsequently realized that I think gives us the credibility to talk to a management team and say, you can do this. It's not too risky. It's just risky enough because you have to take risks to get return. The real motivation to step out and do it on our own was to be able to work with our management partners on a basis that had high values, high ethics. So much of what was being done in the 80s were deals based upon cost savings and cost reduction and, and uh, wholesale firing of people and workforces. And I think our firm in general, we would determine to make sure that that was not the kind of buyout guys we were going to be. It was going to be much more, you know, partnering with management teams, figuring out how to grow the business rather than, you know, let's buy it, slash and burn, and make a profit. And I think in the end, as a result, you can look back over the years and you can feel proud of your association with the firm. Perhaps the most rewarding thing for me in the 25 years I've been working, it's, it's the friendships and the relationship and honesty that we have with each other. It's incredible that we've been you know, working together that long uh, and I think pretty effectively for all those years. It's actually a selling point oftentimes to our management partners in that we haven't really diluted the gene pool, if you will. We haven't forgotten where we came from and where we were and the risks that we took. We do have to stay true to our, our mission and our philosophy and also keep a sense of intimacy. It's really about relationships and about people. You know, I think the real measure of success is how we treated the people that we've been partners with over the years.